Lord spoke to me. Lift your hands. This is the meeting of, of speaking divine connections, divine mysteries. There's two things you can do in a meeting. You can attack the whole thing for revival and talk about the nation and the people. That's, sometimes that's too much. The Lord says, I'm going to raise the army from within, and I'm going to bless you that are here. Some of you are going to take about 50 to 100 steps forward just in hours and days. It will absolutely amaze you. Lift your hands. You have to put your expectancy on for that. And God said the thing about time, redemption of the time, redeeming the time, acceleration. You know, the scripture says in Amos 9.13, I believe it's 9.13, talks about the, the spirit of acceleration coming. The Lord also said in Isaiah, while you're yet speaking, I will have already answered. And the Lord said, now is the time for favor for my elect. Lift your hands. Some of you have been thinking, too, you know, all of us, we have things to deal with. Woman of God, the Lord spoke to me today. I, 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 some things I have to say privately. <laughs> As the Lord was giving me a lot of information today, and, and I can't say it publicly. I just will have, have, have a private time with these leaders to speak some things. But um, God is going to begin to address the issues of our lives. Can you say amen? The things that you don't talk about, the private pain. Sometimes we dress okay, we look okay, we show up, we talk. But inside the life, there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of issues. Lift your hands that need to be dealt with and addressed and things to be broken and to be fixed. And God is the fixer of all those things. Tonight, the miraculous, I see the move of God. Just play so very softly, very softly, softly, very soft. The Lord is, is lifting the burdens off of you. He's delivering you from within. He's going to begin to release you into the, the pathways that everything will begin to accelerate. It will absolutely astound you what will happen even in the next few days. Isn't it shocking that a man of God, two, two men of God here, two great apostles can speak about 24-hour about, uh, miracles. 24-hour miracles. Do you know what? Can I tell you? I've already received one. Something happened today. I, I can't even mention it. Some things are too big to even talk about publicly. Lift your hands. How many believe for that? Right now, the presence of the Lord is touching people, and I see angels going on assignment to cause things to come into place. And the monies you need, and the treasures you need, and the resources you need, supernatural openings of them are coming forth, and you're going to begin to see the hand of God. Now, Father, we prophesy to the four winds in every direction for us that you will bring to us the divine connections, the people that are ordained to work with us. Who said it tonight? You said, you, you, you heard it, I heard it when I was outside, about opportunities that need to be explored, things that haven't been done yet. God says it, within seconds, minutes, and hours, things are going to begin to transpire, and everything is getting sped up. The time is now for it all to happen. And the Lord says, get ready now. Get ready now. Get ready now, because your life will not remain normal. Normalcy is over. Normalcy is boring. Creative genius will come inside of you, and the gifts of God that are in you, and the anointing and the purpose and the treasure and the gifting and the talent that's in you will begin to shine forth. And then the Lord will breathe his anointing down upon it and upon you. And you'll begin to just move fast. The Lord says, watch out for the people around you. Be quick to look at things and say, now this is not right. I'm stepping past this. because the Lord, And the Lord is going to also wake up the sleeping giants that are out there that have also been in dormancy and been waiting and in waiting and in hiding, the Lord said he's going to unveil them to us and he's going to bring them to us. I don't pray for the whole society tonight. I think that's totally out of the flow of what you've, uh, uh, Holy Spirit has charted the course here. But we pray for those that God has given us. Remember Jesus said, Jesus said, those that you've given me, Father, even though the devil tries to come and take them, he cannot. 
and those that have been stolen away and things that have been stolen and swept away, the Lord says, I'm bringing them back even multiplied in a flood. Woman of God, your work is going to flourish. I saw the principalities in Nigeria today just be moved out of the way because of your voice. I, I, I can't say it publicly. I have more to say. Apostle, what, I, what the Lord spoke to me about you, I'm not even going to say it on, on the platform. I'm, we need to talk. We just need to talk. I, we need to have time together privately and say more and more. Lift your hands. The private issues. All of the things that you need dealt with, God is dealing it. He's dealing with them. And he's breaking the force. Father, let your fire move across his people and move across his land. And we speak to the greater Nairobi region and the nation of Kenya, East Africa, all of the continent of Africa. Rise up, oh African people, rise up. And Lord, the divine connections, as it, as it, as it was said by the apostle, we don't need everybody. We need the right people. And the Lord said, the wrong people are going to get pushed away from us. And the Lord spoke to me today about judgment, about the things that just need to be dealt with. God is going to just begin to bring everything into alignment. Get ready because you're about to be blessed. You'll pinch yourself and say, did this really happen? Did this really happen? And God said, it's going to be that supernatural. Get ready for the blessings of the Lord that make a man rich and make a woman rich and add no sorrow or trouble with it. Get ready for the wealth of the wicked. Get ready for the hidden treasures, Isaiah 45, that you've not seen. And God says, but by my giving them to you, you'll know that I'm your God, who even calls you and summons you forth by your own name. The Lord says, your name is attached to treasures. My name is attached to treasures, not just in the millions, but in the billions. And the Lord says, raise the empires, raise the empires. Raise it up. Your business, your life, your ministry. The creative glory that's upon you, it's going to just surpass anything you've seen around you. Never try to fit in. Don't try to sing the same songs, preach the same way, do the same pattern, have a different sound, a different vibe, a different flow, and stand up. We kill, yes, apostle, we kill, we kill the, the, the dream killers, the haters, the subverters, the underminers. The jealous, the backbiters, the criminals, the people that want to stop the move of God. Their hands are being broken. And the Lord says, now, I'm going to give you the ability to arise and shine. Because my glory is rising upon you. And kings will come to the brightness of your rising. And the forces of the Gentiles will come to you. And God says, your sons and daughters will come to be nursed by your side from near and far. And the Lord says, all kinds of treasures, all kinds of miracles, all kinds of blessings are going to come. They're going to flow like rivers coming over the waterfalls. The Lord says, get ready now because it's time. And time is being sped up. Time is being advanced and enhanced. Even this very night, says the Spirit of the Lord. Somebody, somebody.